Hey, Billy. Yeah, what's up? Did your parents ever teach you about the birds and the bees? Yeah, what about it? Did they perhaps teach you how organisms are made? N no, why would they? Well, probably because you have a severe case of PTSD after stepping in that one aquarium exhibit and seeing some scary stuff. And after seeing those abominations in their tanks, you'd want to stay away from them. Wait, wait, hold on. What the heck does any of this have to do with sex? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pronouns, and whatever else you identify yourself as, I give you one of the most mentally scarring reproductive strategies any organism, aside from the hyena, has ever had on Earth. One that even puts our own reproductive strategies to shame. Also, side note, I couldn't find any good pictures of laboratories or museums or anything of that sort, so I'm basically going to be sharing a stock image photo of a girl on a chalkboard. You guys can deal with this. This is the anglerfish, a fish that grows from the size of your thumbnail to a teacup and has extremely sharp fangs that are enough to give a dentist an existential midlife crisis. On its forehead is a lure used to attract prey by emitting light through a natural adaptation called bioluminescence, or the ability to produce light with the help of bacteria. Unlike female anglers, male anglers are small, don't have a lure, and look more adorable than the opposite sex, which is the closest thing to a xenomorph. Anglerfish, in terms of reproduction, are very different from humans. Humans have two reproductive systems, one for males and one for females. Males have a penis and a sac called a scrotum, which protects two olive-sized organs called testicles, which produce sperm cells that travel up a series of tubes towards the tip of the male's penis during sex or masturbation. Females, on the other hand, have a collection of body parts on the outside of the pelvis in the shape of a flower. Inside is a finger-sized tube called the vagina, which the male places his penis inside. Her cervix, the hole at the end of the vagina, acts as an entrance to her uterus, or the womb, when a child is conceived. The female has two fallopian tubes that connect two balls called ovaries, which help create small eggs the size of grains of salt. As for anglerfish, their organs are not exposed to the outside world. Instead, they are internal, all except for the female, who has an extra appendage. This is due to a particular relationship they engage in which we'll discuss later. When the female has her eggs fertilized, she releases them from her own skin. This varies in two different ways. In frogfish, a shallow water cousin of the anglerfish, the eggs are released from her back, and she protects them for about two to three weeks before they're eventually released into the ocean to hatch. As for deep sea anglerfish, we don't know, because we don't have the money or the time to view one specific mother and her offspring for an extended period. Because it lives from 600 to 2,200 meters below sea level, water is very dark, and the ocean is massive. So anglerfish have to find their way around using light, like all of the other deep sea species that look like they got skewered in the face with a railroad spike, in order to get food, survive, but most importantly, they need to hook up with another mate. Literally. It's very simple, really. Two fish meet up, get some Elmer's glue, stick it on each other, and then cuddle. No, 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 but in all seriousness, this isn't what actually happens. What really happens is that a female anglerfish releases chemicals and hormones into the water, which travel for miles until a male anglerfish picks up the scent and is aroused enough to travel all the way over towards that one female, even if they are two oceans apart. By the time they meet, this is when things get interesting. Hello, sorry I'm late. Uh, I had this squid for dinner on the way over. You want some? Uh, no, but thanks for the offer. So, are we gonna do this? Oh, yeah, 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 sure, 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 sure. Um, but uh, there's a little exception. You see, this is my first time, so I'm not entirely sure about how this works. Oh, don't worry, sister. It's nothing complicated. All I have to do is chat on in my belly like it's a hot dog eating contest and merge with me to become a literal offspring factory for the rest of our lives. Pretty kinky, if you ask me. So, are we gonna begin? Oh yeah, hold on, uh, just one second. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. As I said before, anglerfish reproduction is very different from human reproduction. When it comes to sex, we just choose a partner, either engage in foreplay via second or third base, connect our genitalia, and either give a seed or retrieve a seed. As for anglerfish, it goes a step further than that. The male uses his teeth and bites the female's belly. The female then moves slowly through the water so the male can latch on while he bites to get a good grip, and then over time, they start to merge with each other's bodies. Yep, that's right. Once they are attached, they can never separate. 
They both circulate semen, blood, and other chemicals and hormones into their bodies for the rest of their lives as the two produce eggs to be released out into the ocean. But females don't do it with just one male. She can do it with six males at the same time. An important thing to note is that the male's organs, except for the testes, will disappear. So he'll essentially be Thanos snapped out of existence. I always wonder what life is like for them as they drift to the dark depths of the deep sea day by day. On some days, they probably have arguments over who should be above or below, maybe eat small squid and look at the marine snow gently falling to the bottom of the ocean. Or perhaps, the most important part of any animal's life, enjoying each other's company and not feeling alone in the world. Well, before the male eventually loses everything except for his testicles. And that marks the end of our topic. Honestly, I, I had a lot of fun making this. It was excruciating just to get one picture done every single couple of days, but but honestly, I, I can see myself probably making some of this in the future more often. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this, please subscribe. And uh, I yeah, this is it. Uh, thank you very much. Bye.